God loves us and sent his son. How do we know? How do we know? God loves us and sent his son. How do we know? The Bible tells us so. The Bible says, John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me when I'm good, when I do the things I should. Jesus loves me when I'm bad, but it makes him very sad. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Can you see God? No, you cannot see God, but God always sees you. He sees all I do. He hears all I say. My Lord is with me all the time, time, time. He sees all I do. He hears all I say. My Lord is with me all the time, time, time. Listen to find out how Jesus took the punishment for our sins. This story is in the Bible. The Bible is God's word. The angry crowd at Jesus' trial had shouted at Pilate until he agreed to let Jesus be crucified on a cross. A group of soldiers led Jesus away. The soldiers made fun of Jesus. They pretended to treat him like a king. They put a purple robe on him. They pushed a, a crown of thorns down on his head. They spit on him and they beat him and whipped him with a strong leather whip. The soldiers made Jesus carry, carry part of the heavy wooden cross that he would be nailed to. They led him down the street and out through the city gate. When Jesus could carry the cross no longer, the soldiers ordered a man named Simon who was passing by to carry it the rest of the way. Outside the city, the soldiers laid the cross on the ground. The soldiers nailed Jesus' hands and feet to the cross. Then they lifted the cross upright and dropped it into a hole in the ground. Jesus hung there on the cross in great pain, but he was not angry with the people who had put him there on the cross. He cried out to his heavenly Father, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. Jesus knew that the soldiers did not know that he was the Son of God. Jesus was crucified along with two criminals whose crosses were placed on either side of his. The three men were left there to die. The religious leaders stood around making fun of Jesus. They laughed and shouted, You saved others, but yourself you cannot save? Come down from the cross if you really are God's son. Of course. Of course, Jesus could have come down from the cross if he had wanted to. He had the power, but he chose to be punished for our sins. He stayed on the cross because he loved us. Pilate had a sign put on Jesus' cross that said, This 
is Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. One of the criminals hanging on the cross next to Jesus said, If If you are the Christ, the king, save yourself and save us too. Take us down from this cross. The other criminal said, be quiet. We deserve to die. But this man didn't do anything wrong. He turned to Jesus and begged, please, Jesus, Remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered the criminal, You will be with me in heaven today. Jesus forgave the criminal of his sins. Suddenly, at noon, when the sun should have been its brightest, there was darkness all around. It looked like it was nighttime. It was dark for three hours while Jesus suffered on the cross, taking the punishment we deserve for our sins. Jesus said, I I am thirsty. The soldiers gave him something to drink. Then he shouted in victory, It is finished! Jesus had paid the full penalty for our sin. And then Jesus gave up his life and chose to die. At that moment he died, an earthquake shook the city. Stones began to roll down the hill. The people standing around the cross were afraid. They hurried home. The captain of the soldiers said, Surely, surely this man was the Son of God. Jesus died on the cross during Passover when the Passover lambs were sacrificed. At the first Passover in Egypt, each family killed a perfect lamb and spread the blood on the doorpost of the house to save the oldest son from death. Jesus was the perfect and final Passover lamb. He was the sacrifice who shed his blood for the sins of the world. Jesus saves us from eternal death when we trust him to forgive our sins. We have eternal life. Jesus had, Jesus had done nothing wrong. He chose to be punished and to die on the cross for the sins of the world. He was taking your place and my place there on the cross so that we could be forgiven because he loves us. He paid sin's penalty for you and for me. If we will turn away from our sin, believe that Jesus died for us, ask him to save us, and if we trust in Christ alone to forgive us of our sins, Jesus will forgive our sins just as he did for the criminal who died on the cross next to him. Then, after we die, we will live with him forever. Jesus offers us salvation as a gift. And we only need to receive it.